Hello everybody, this is Keith and you're watching Barber's Auto Help. Today I'm going to show you four different ways to collapse your caliper piston. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time narrating or, or going into all the particulars. I have in the description some more information about this process and more information about the individual methods I'll be using to collapse this caliper piston, the pros and cons and whatnot down in the description there. So please read the entire description before you do this. Now I will mention one thing. When you're collapsing this caliper piston, and you're not going to see me do this, you need to have your bleeder valve or your bleeder screw open when you're collapsing the piston to let all that nasty brake fluid come out. I do not suggest having that nasty fluid go back up through your uh, hydraulic control unit or the rest of your brake system. Get that nasty fluid out. So I will suggest that, and when you're done collapsing the piston, be sure to torque down your bleeder screw to the manufacturer's specification. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, method number one. This is the poor man's way of doing it, and this is the way that uh, I initially learned how to do this. This is the, the uh, shade tree method. Just take your regular old screwdriver, place it inside that window there, and pry outward on it like this. And you can see the, uh, the piston went in just a little bit. You can now take your screwdriver and place it in between the brake pad and the piston, and push that piston back in the rest of the way like so. Okay, method number two. You can use your good old channel locks just like this. Go ahead and take your caliper off. Place the pad next to the piston. Adjust your channel locks out and squeeze your channel locks and push that piston back in. Just like that. All right, method three, you can use a C-clamp. Place your pad by your piston there. And place your C-clamp in position. And go ahead and wind it down. There you go. And finally, you have method number four, and I have this special caliper piston compressor. Go ahead and take your caliper off. Same thing, take your pad, place it ne next to the piston. Put your caliper compressor inside the caliper, and go ahead and pump it down. Just like so. All right, now we have plenty of room to uh, place our caliper back over our new pads. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, like I said before, please read the entire description about this before you do it. And uh, you see I'm not wearing nitrile gloves. I would recommend wearing some nitrile gloves to keep your skin protected. And always wear safety glasses. And be sure to like, subscribe, all that good stuff, guys. Thank you for watching.